Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new around here, my name is Becca. I am a registered dietitian. I make lots of videos here on my channel about wellness, nutrition, health, some motherhood, lifestyle, all of that good stuff. And in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys my must-haves for postpartum. I'm still technically postpartum right now, um, but I'm specifically gonna be sharing with you the things that I used when I was in like postpartum recovery. For those few weeks after birth when you are still really healing and adjusting and there's just a lot going on these were all the things that were my must-haves during that period of time so just a little bit of background if you guys are new to my channel i have a sweet baby girl her name is hayden she is about four months now and i had a an unmedicated water birth and it was amazing it was also really hard but it was amazing and i did do a whole video on my birth story so if you're like me and you are obsessed with listening to birth stories especially positive birth stories then you guys should definitely check out that video i think you'll love it so recovering from birth is definitely pretty intense um it's a lot for your body to go through and you kind of go through this marathon of birth and then immediately you step into like the marathon that is caring for a tiny brand new infant so first i'm going to talk about everything that i kind of use to help out the vagina everything downstairs and then i'm also going to talk about boobs as well um, because starting to breastfeed can definitely be uncomfortable so i'll share with you all the things i used for that um so first things first get yourself some adult diapers okay i did also use pads i'll get to that but i found diapers to be so amazing and i you i wore them for like the first week so these are the ones that I got. They're just store brand. There's nothing fancy about them. They're not organic cotton, which I would have loved. But the reason I got these is because they didn't have any fragrance on them. Um, I ordered them off, Am like I ordered some off Amazon first. Ones that like people were really highly recommended. I think they were like always brand. And they literally, I could smell the perfume from like 10 miles away. I don't like to use artificial fragrances at all. I'm a pretty natural person. So that was just not my jam. But I got these. So if you're looking for ones that don't have fragrance, literally just go to your local like drugstore and sniff them like I did in the aisles. But anyway, so this is what they look like. They are large and in charge, but you guys, they're so comfortable. And when you're healing and everything's swollen, you're not like, you don't really want to be like sitting on a pad that can be like sliding around. Like, these, I don't know, these are just really nice. And just, yeah, you, you're gonna want diaper, diapers, okay? They're really easy, and like I said, I wore them for like a week. They were super comfortable, and they're also like crazy absorbent. So that was really nice because you are going to be bleeding a lot. That is normal. Um, okay, so those were the diapers that I used, and I, like I said, I used those for about the first like seven days. And then once the bleeding kind of slowed down, and also like my swelling, and, and I had already healed a lot, um, I switched over to using like big, pretty jumbo pads still. Um, so I use, I've used them all up so I don't have them, um, but I'll link them, I'll link everything down below. But I got them on Amazon, they're the NatraCare brand and they're their maternity pads, so they're pretty big. And they're not like crazy big, they were not, like they were pretty comfortable, um, but they were really awesome, I really liked those. And I used those for like weeks after that i feel like i bled for like a decent amount of time um not just like two weeks uh it was definitely longer than that so i used those next and then i switched over to like little like light days or something like you know after i finished up all of those but those were great and they're organic cotton and no fragrance or anything like that which i appreciate so those were the pads that i use and once i switched over to pads i also wore these amazon just like comfy stretchy full butt underwear i wanted just to buy cheap black underwear that I would care less if it got stained and I just threw out. So um, if you want to just get like a bunch of cheap black underwear, Amazon is where it's at and these are the ones that I got and they worked out great. Um, okay, so as far as like caring for down there, there's a lot happening. So first is just having a peri bottle. The hospital will give you one. Um, I gave birth in a birth center. They had them there as well. They'll, you'll most likely be sent home with one. Um, but basically you just fill this up with warm water and every time you go to the bathroom um, Like when you're peeing you're just gonna squirt this all over So basically what this does is it like dilutes your pee which is I think it's because it's acidic or um, it, it can it can sting and burn um, if you have like stitches like if you tore um, So this can be really really nice because it helps with that and then also just like warm water just to keep things like clean down there You can even add like a little bit of like uh, pink salt to this for it to be just to like you know clean the area extra 
I didn't do that because I was not about to do that every single time I filled this up when I had to pee but I did use warm water and it was really nice to have. Okay, now speaking of warm water down there, another thing that was really, really nice was having a sits bath. So I got this on Amazon. It's just a little plastic, um, like literally a sits bath that you can put right on top of a toilet. You can also do this in your bathtub too and just fill it up like a couple inches of water. You don't have to buy this separate thing. But I was just like, I don't know, this. I feel like this is so much easier to keep clean and sanitized than a bathtub would be. I don't know. So, and I can get like dusty in there. I don't know. So we don't use it a lot. So I just wanted to get something separate. So that's why I got this. But I would just fill this up with pretty warm water. Like as warm as I could stand it down there. And I would always add um, some Himalayan pink salt. That's what my midwives recommended. And then I also would add some essential oils. I usually did Frank, um, frankincense, and I think lavender were the two that I did each time. Just a couple drops of each, which are super like good for skin and healing. And they're just like really supportive oils for skin, essentially. So I used those. Um, if you are going to use essential oils, just make sure you're using like a good quality brand because it's like real sensitive down there. It's your skin. It's open. Um, I use Young Living. That's the brand that I really like. Just make sure you're doing your research because you don't want to be using like really cheap, not real oils down there, especially when all that is happening. <laughs> but anyway, sits bath was key. It really, really helped with my swelling and it was just really, really soothing. And I would do those about, I would try and do them twice a day and I probably did it for like the first week or so. Okay. And then also for down there, I did use a couple of products. So the first one is the Earth Mama um, Organics. I think this used to be called Earth Mama Angel Baby. Um, this is their perineal balm and it's just like a yellow greenish, um, like really thick moisturizing balm. Oh my gosh, I haven't smelled this since then. This like takes me back to that time. <laughs> um, it smells pretty good. So I would just take a little bit this of this on like a clean, like my clean hands on one of my fingers and I would put this all over like my, just use like a mirror. I would put it all over my perineum, especially cause I did tear. Um, so I had some stitches and I would put it all over just very, very gently the area that was healing um, where I did tear. And I feel like it helped. Um, it was also like a tiny bit cooling too, which was kind of nice. And then speaking of cooling, um, I also used this. This is from Young Living. It's called Clariderm. I really didn't want to use the Dermaplast. Um, also, I, they give that to you at the hospital. I didn't have birth in a hospital, so I didn't even have one. I mean, you can order online, of course. But I don't know. That's just It has a lot of chemicals in it, and that's just like not really my jam. So I just decided not to go that route. And honestly, I was fine. Um, what I was using, I was able to stay pretty comfortable. So it worked out fine but so anyway this is the Clariderm spray I actually use this to like prep all the skin down there because a lot of women say that it helps with um, potentially not tearing I did still tear but I think she came out real fast so I don't know if that necessarily could have been prevented by anything but yeah so I used this just to spray down there um, like all over especially my perineum and it was really, really helpful in like the healing process and it's also kind of cooling. So it just felt like really good. Okay, I also made padsicles too, which um, I used them all up so I can't really show you. But basically what I did was I took those maternity pads um, that, I, that I would wear. I made these before I gave birth. And I did some witch hazel and some real aloe, um, which I ordered off of Amazon, like 100% pure aloe. And then I mixed a couple essential oils, um, like some lavender, and I honestly can't remember. I'll try and I'll try and list them down below for you guys if you want to make them. But I just made a concoction of that, and I just sprayed them all over the pads and stuck them in the freezer. So I wore those for only like the first. I think like 24 or 48 hours. You're not supposed to go too long with icing down there because you really do want to get some good blood flow. Um, but it, so I wore those, I think for the first 24 hours and they were so, so nice. It was like so soothing to sit on that. So definitely make yourself some pad schools. Okay, next is this little mason jar and these are actually my um, placenta pills. So I got my placenta encapsulated and um, one of the midwives did it for me that works at the birth center where I gave birth. And they're almost gone now, but this entire jar was completely full. You guys, I had a really big placenta. They were like, wow, that's one of the biggest ones we've seen in a little while. It was literally like the size of a dinner plate. It was really big, which is actually, it was so cool to see like my, how my body built that. I don't know. I thought it was fascinating. I have pictures of it. It's pretty cool. Um, but anyway, so I got my placenta, placenta encapsulated 
and I know some people think that's super weird to be honest I think it's kind of weird but like I still did it anyway um there isn't like a whole lot of like solid research on consuming your placenta but there's a lot of like anecdotal evidence and women just sharing their stories of when they didn't take them postpartum and then when they did it can really just help with energy levels and balancing out your hormones and also milk production so I was just kind of like sold I mean why not it's just gonna get thrown out so why not take it in a pill form because that I can get on board with so I took these um, all through my postpartum now I don't have a postpartum experience to compare to where I didn't take placenta pills but you guys I honestly felt great um, Hayden was also a good sleeper so that definitely helps but I mean I felt pretty normal um, not necessarily down there it took a little while for that to all heal up but I felt like myself mentally like pretty early on um like within a, within a couple weeks i feel like i just felt like my normal self i just had a baby now so i don't know if it has to do with this but i definitely like f for sure with all of my future pregnancies and babies will definitely be taking these because i had a great experience i've had a great experience postpartum so i'm just gonna keep taking those okay another thing that was super helpful for me that i used a lot was just essential oils in general but specifically this roller this is like my mama happy mama roller that i made before i gave birth and i put a bunch of different oils in here it smells so good um i put like harmony and release and joy i think white angelica just a bunch of blends that are really really good emotional supportive blends valor too and obviously valor um, so uh, they're all from Young Living. I love Young Living and I literally would roll this on constantly. I would roll it all over my wrist. I would roll it behind my ears, like on my chest, like literally just roll it on all day long. Take a few breaths to like breathe it all in and it really just helped me like reset and refocus and if I was getting stressed out or um, anything, I would just put this on all the time. So love, love, love oils for emotional support. And then, okay, so that's kind of everything for the downstairs. And now I'm going to talk about breastfeeding. So first, you're going to want to get yourself some good nursing bras because you, like, the, the days of going braless are, like, over. Like, sleeping, sleeping not in a bra, still sleeping in a bra over here. Um, because your boobs leak and you want to be able to hold some pads in there. I mean, my, my boobs don't leak anymore. But... Anyway, so you're gonna want some good nursing bras. I got these, these are Amazon like cheapo ones and they're pretty comfortable, they work for me. Um, I really like them, so I will link those down below. I just got like, um, you can get like a three pack and I've just been wearing those and washing them and wearing those and washing them and they've stood up pretty well to the test of time so far. So you're gonna need a good nursing bra. And then I wore a lot of just like button down tops or like pajama shirts or stuff like that. I did try and get dressed like every single day, at least in just like leggings and like a button down top. Still very comfortable, but you do feel better when you get out of your pajamas um, because you don't really leave the house. So a lot of button down shirts, but if I wasn't wearing a button down shirt and um, I was wearing a shirt that I would just like pull up or, um, or if I just wanted to wear a tank top, these are the ones that I got that I really like. Um, they're from Target, I'll link them down below. I literally pulled this out of my laundry so I can show you guys because they're that good. So they're just, they are maternity tops. Um, I have I have extra small. I would literally just go and buy like multiple white ones. That's what I would do. Um, that's what I did actually. So what is so great about these is the neckline you guys is so stretchy. So you can easily just pull it down like over your bra and you're good to go so i got some nursing tanks off of amazon i think i think i wore them like twice they were really tight and uncomfortable and to pull those on over like extremely sore nipples was just like not fun like i literally i think i literally wore it twice and that was because like the nursing brows were all dirty and i had no choice so personally i wouldn't waste your time don't get nursing tanks just get some nursing bras and I'm telling you, get these tanks from Target. They're super stretchy, they're comfortable, they're really soft, and I've been wearing these like nonstop and washing them constantly, and they're still, I'm still wearing them four months later. So that's what I would do, because they are just great for nursing and they're um, super comfortable. Okay, so also, so when it comes to breast breastfeeding, your boobs, more so your nipples, they do get sore. They're not supposed, to, breastfeeding is not supposed to be extremely uncomfortable. If it is, something is going awry and you should definitely go see like an IBCLC. That was our problem. My nipples hurt, like I couldn't, they, they hurt for a long time. Like I don't wanna scare you because breastfeeding is awesome and it's amazing and it's worth fighting through that annoying stuff in the beginning to get to the part where it's easy and like second nature and it's like the most bonding, amazing thing ever. 
but it does hurt in the beginning um, and depending on your situation it might only be for a couple of days or for me it was a couple of months but that's okay I got through it um, working with like a lactation consultant and all of that so your boobs are definitely gonna get sore and I would definitely recommend you get these so in the beginning they kind of get sore because they just get so full all the time because your body is just like crazy producing milk um, so this was nice like um, just to put on my boobs like stick them in my bra um, like in between nursing sessions and you're nursing so often in the very beginning like every two hours that there isn't a whole lot of downtime so giving your boobs a little bit of relief in between really does help so I would um, put these stick these in my bra all the time and they really just they, they do help to give some relief um, as far as like swelling because your boobs get so full and then they can swell a little and then also just your nipples they hurt um, okay and then on the flip side I also used this right here um, this was actually oh here we go here's the name this was given to me it doesn't actually this not good it's called the milk ease um, and what you do is you stick this in the microwave for a few seconds to warm it up and then right before a nursing session you stick it on and that kind of helps get everything loosened up and going and I did use this for like the first few weeks um, and then I stopped but it was kind of nice to have and I did use it a lot so I did want to mention it um, and then also a nursing pillow too I used I didn't grab it but I used the um, my breast friend pillow I use that I also use the boppy too in the very very beginning because sitting with the my breast friend it really pushed you like because there's a, a strip that goes around your lower back and I could not use that in the beginning because I really needed to like lean back on more on my tailbone so that I wasn't like sitting right on my stitches. So the um, the boppy pillow was great for that because it didn't go around my back and it didn't force me to sit upright. I could actually kind of recline a little and have her sitting on there. So that I really liked having both. I used the My Breast Friend 90% of the time I used a breastfeeding pillow. Um, but I did use the boppy in the beginning as well and found that to be really helpful when it was helpful. Okay, and then you're also going to need something to catch the milk that's going to be leaking out of you basically all the time. So these are reusable, or not reusable, these are disposable nursing pads. I think they're Lansano. So I have these. I also have the reusable ones. Um, I don't really use them anymore because I don't really leak, but in the beginning I did. So I have to say, I wish that I loved the environmentally friendly option, but I honestly just didn't because these don't slide around the other ones can slide and in the middle of the night all of a sudden one slid all the way over and you're leaking all the way down your shirt it's not really ideal during the day those might be a little bit better but I just liked having these because they're sticky and also they absorb the milk so they're not like wet sitting on your skin they're actually like pretty dry so I really liked those and then also I don't see a lot of people talk about these but I use them a lot and they're these little silver cups. I think they're called silverettes or something. I'll link them down below. They get them from Amazon, but it actually is like sterling silver and they're literally like little nipple cups. So apparently there's like some healing properties to silver. I can't necessarily speak to that. My nipples were pretty torn up and sore, not torn up, but sore because she had some latching issues or not latching issues, but just whatever. Um, we had some stuff we had to work through for breastfeeding for it to be comfortable for me. Luckily, she always was able to get the milk that she needed and she grew fine and all of that. So that was good, but it definitely was painful for me. So we had, to, it took a little while to figure that out. Um, anyway, so I used these for at least a month, probably more, probably more like two months every single day over my nipples, not necessarily for the healing. I don't think I noticed a difference as far as that. Um, but because when your nipples get hard, if you get cold or something and your nipples get hard and they press against your like the tank or the and the bra you're wearing oh my god it's so painful and your nipples are hard like all the time when you're breastfeeding not all the time but way you know m way more frequently than they were probably before so these were really helpful because they almost like just protected my nipples so they could do whatever they were doing and they were never actually pressing against something if i would go a couple hours without wearing these and i just had like my shirt and bra like kind of like pressing on my nipples the whole time they would get even more sore so these are really nice to have i don't know if there's like other ones you can buy that are maybe like made of plastic and not as expensive but um, cause these were like, they are sterling silver, but they worked and I would buy them again, but the, I'll have them forever, which is great. And then the only other thing I wanted to mention is just like comfortable clothes. I wore a lot of like loose joggers. You don't want anything that's going to be like necessarily tight around your belly. Um, and just a lot of tank tops and button down shirts. And also my barefoot dreams cardigan. Oh, <sighs> worth every penny you guys. I have lived in that thing postpartum. I'll link that down below too. It's the best. 
Um, I don't know if you can hear, but Hayden's crying, but so I'm gonna go. But those are all my postpartum must-haves. It's all of the things that were essentials for me right you know after Hayden was born for the recovery period but that is it for this video guys I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next one bye <laughs>